All right, what is up guys? Let's do it. Summer Games Fest time. Well, in four seconds. Hopefully there wasn't a waiting screen for the waiting screen. Drops, are there even drops for this? What's up, TZ? <clears throat> I'm a little flustered still. Oh, just outside. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Please welcome to the stage, the creator of the Game Awards, oh. Jeff. I didn't know Jeff was going to be here. Jeff was probably here last year, too. Oh, there are drops? Oh, okay. Uh, let me see if they're on. I don't know how to see that. Armor Core 7, let's go. I don't think we're going to see anything from software. I bet. All right, I'll make a gamble. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? We are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators you go, around retry. the world over the next two hours. He said welcome, he did. I, oh, thank you, Jeff. Nice to be here. But let's My also bad. face it, this has Any predictions, Kenny? I don't think so. I have literally no idea. With company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. I don't know about that, Jeff. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. All right. Two of them That's true. are considered, you know, big company games, but the other eight come from indie, mid-sized teams or solo what developers. Up, I look so at this list. It's pretty cool, right? And I get inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and what will What is Enshrouded? I don't remember that it's game. It's a reminder to big companies that they have Enshrouded. to treat developers I don't have... right. Because Does anyone today, in chat know what that is? There are many paths to sustainability fact, the and success. Really up there. And that's what I think makes Iker this recommended us playing it. Games so, like two, two bucks. So Damn. great. You got a new airbrush today. Congratulations. And you'll see that reflected in the show today. Time to paint. Because over the next two hours, we'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller titles, including a few games made by single individuals and first-time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that yeah, you might really. not even know about. So when you it's see like a Valheim game with more weapons. Your gotcha. interest, Please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. And we are going to do that today over the next two hours as we have a lot of games to show you, plus Day of the Devs directly after with even more indie titles. So should we get to the games? Yes, Jeff. I'd like to get to the game, right. sir. It all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. What's it going to be? <laughs> Uh, hey, look, this is uh, a, a Lego game. Auditioning for the, um, <laughs> ooh, the lead and unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That voice actor sounds familiar. Rage. Empathy. Oh, hilarity. <laughs> this guy. Lego games are actually too. Lego Horizon. Hey, what game is this anyway? Oh, uh, is, that, is that a dude who plays uh, Deadpool? Is that his voice? Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Hey, neat costume. I gotta get me. Oh, similar. Ooh, sandwich. But yeah, Lego Horizon, really. Who is that? Is that, that is, I don't think it's Ryan Reynolds. Is I don't think it is. An amazing video game is this necessary? Maybe I'll actually play a Horizon game now. Bring it down. <laughs> this is gonna be I've brought up playing Lego Star Wars before. Wonder if this is gonna be multiplayer. It has to be multiplayer. It's a Lego game, right? A Surely they wouldn't. It's a Lego game, yeah. Hunting machine. All by herself. Hello. What we friendly. talked about. There Lego it is. Yeah. Right. All right, everybody. A friendly hero hunting with her pals. What did you say, RP? I brought up playing the Lego Star Wars game. Uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Or Lego Lord of the Rings. I have a couple of them, I think. And making a home.
They're supposed to be really fun. Wasn't there like a whole Fortnite Lego crossover? Oh, your games are fun. There was, I thought so. What's up, Bald? How are you? It's Pete. Is there a joke with Alloy and liking sandwiches or something in the game that I'm not knowing about? It's called Lego Worlds. Hori Lego Horizon Adventures on everything. Actually, I know it's not on Xbox. Never mind. <laughs> Everything but Xbox. There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego Horizon Adventures coming out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, lighthearted story inspired by the world of Horizon designed with two-player action in mind, supporting couch and they online with the first showcase. All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios, the developers behind Chivalry 2. For okay. the next project, they are proud to announce no more room in hell 2 the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod eight players start separate in the dark and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with permadeath here is the first look yeah you didn't miss anything billy just like well lego horizon zero dawn so you should you're all right you're good this is a horror survival game then? With with multiple people in it? <laughs> if, only, if only I had eight friends. Eight friends you can stream with. Right. I have one. I don't like him very much. Yeah. Kind of annoying. Did you get you get dinner yet, RP? No, uh, I'm looking at DoorDash now. I just ordered DoorDash. <laughs> Which, uh, what'd you get? Chicken club. Chicken club. Yeah. There's a jolly bee I can get. I've never had jolly bee. Yeah, right. Permadeath. Eight player co-op, dude. RP, me and you, two players instead of eight, we can definitely do it. We could easily win this. Oh, hell yeah, TZ. We got DoorDash here. No more room in hell. Early access in Halloween. Also, going to be available. Coming this Halloween. Everything. Looks really, really intense. All right. Dude, Dude, Jeff Keighley kind of got a fit on right now. I like it. Someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few He's years a ago. And of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Who's Curious Joy? I don't know who this is. Hello. Oh. Hi. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Silk let's Song. Take a look. That's my, oh, Ripped Kenny, in. to answer your question, Silk As Song is what I want to see. We all dream of soaring through the sky. Oh, it's Harry Potter. It's Quidditch. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes? To be the next Quidditch star. Can I get some Z's in chat for this? This is gonna be that stupid. Like it's gonna be stupid. Fuck Quidditch. I'm not a big Harry Potter guy. I like it, but it's like not enough to ever play a game like this. Watch it be like the next super big competitive game released. To chase your dreams at any price. Yeah, looks great. Yeah, I don't know what's with the art style. No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. So ask yourself, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of the Quidditch champion? I don't think I do. Dude, they got afterburners on their brooms? All right. That looked extremely boring. I mean, I think you just play Quidditch the whole time. So maybe you're into that. What if they made an asymmetric game where you wore the golden snitch that flies around to avoid other players? 
That's Harry Potter. Quidditch it could be fun for like an hour, I feel like. If you could play as the, the Golden the Snitch in this PC. game, I, might, I would try it. From the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails yeah, maybe from a single developer, okay, here Gavin we go. Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite. Oh, that was the giant, the spider train this thing. This next game a few months mm -hmm. ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends in Cuff Bust. Cuff Bust. Oh, God. What a, di what a different, like, vibe already <laughs> from Choo Choo Charles. Oh, shit. Who has this many friends? I know, right? I agree, Retry and RP. What's up, Cookie? Are really pandering to streamers and stuff? I mean, these are definitely stream games. That's where they'll be played that's the how, most, probably. That's how you get your game out there, I guess. And stuff, obviously. Just like Among Us, like, they're stream games. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you could just play online with randoms, but I feel like these types of games are fun with a group. Right, yeah, fun group. The oh shit, they're going out the toilet. So I wonder if it's like one giant map with a bunch of crazy different ways to get out or if it's like multiple maps, like different prisons you can break out of. Because obviously we're seeing a way to get out right here, but I wonder if there's like a billion different ways to get, to get out of this area. Right. And do people play as the cops? Or is it, are you just playing with these little dudes, I wonder? An anti-air gun. <laughs> I mean, this, this trailer is a fun trailer, at least. Cuff bust. 2025, I don't know, to be honest, I respect that. That's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. It yeah, it would be fun doing it on stream. Right. Or if you Next, had a, a bunch of friends, I agree. Most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games. The first that first part's the problem with this game. game. Where you live the life of a scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, Ubisoft. you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's forward event, streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. I mean, it'll look visually impressive for sure, but... It'll be, it's an Ubisoft game. I'll admit the um, other $150 Star Wars game, yeah. The other, what was the other, um, the dude, the, the games with the dude from Shameless in it? The fuck are those called? Whatever those games the are called. Telltale games? What? No, no, no. Telltale no, games? No, 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 no. The more recent ones that came out in the last couple years. It was like a action, art, action adventure game. It was, those were pretty good. Fallen Order, yeah. I played the first Fallen Order and it was fun. So, and it, this looks like that, but with guns instead of lightsabers. I'm sure it'll be a massive open world with a billion and a half random tasks to do. I think I spotted Lando there. So great. And by the way, I'm just noticing everything we've shown you so far, I think is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year, Cuff Bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like, it's so cool that there's stuff that we're going to get to play in the next few months here. All right. Well. Moving back to smaller teams, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to yeah, play through this Someone researched Jeff Keighley's fit say, so I can get that same outfit. It is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, like the creators of the game award winning like game, Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. It's probably like $1,000, probably. I know people like Gris a lot. Oh, this looks like it made me. Cry. Oh, I remember the trailer for this. Whenever we watched, it was one of during one of the the showcases. It, this is look. This game looks like it's gonna be depressing. I'm yeah. I remember this too. No, I think it's gonna be good. I, like if you want to be sad, probably. 
The visuals and the music are sick already, though. I do like this. Reminds me of, like, Ori or something like that. Well, that's terrifying. I would 100% play this game. Did you call for the combo kill right there? Oh, the dog grows up! Oh no, that means it's probably gonna die. Guess I was probably gonna die. I'm pretty sure the, the last trailer, I think the mom of the, the dog on screen, it shows it dying, which is probably the beginning of the game. I don't know, dude. I just feel like it's gonna be really sad. <laughs> but I, I, I am definitely interested in, in, in Neva. Neva. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when you get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the Day of the Devs. Oh, it's, it's a Devolver stream. game? So lots more for you. That's cool. All right, next, it's time for our next game announcement. Armor, nope. I don't think so. This is in track with an Armored Core game. Our architects of fate. Working in these walls of time. Let us all for death prepare. Or on the last great journey fair. Dude, I don't know. This looks kinda this could be Let sick. Let's see what then die ingloriously and without a struggle. What is this? Uh for honor two? But let me first do some great thing that shall be told among men hereafter. I don't think so. Never mind. Oh, is it a Civ game? This world's life until the end. Is it? I bet it's a new Civ game. Oh, Calling it. Civ 35. So it shall be. So it shall. Yeah. Civ, what is that? Seven. Seven. Damn. I mean, Total War is just better, but it's fine. Hello, everyone. It's Summer Game Fest. On behalf Dude, of Sid Meier is cranking out games right here. <laughs> finally announced that Civilization Seven is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing. It's funny because I know that if I actually play a Civ game, I probably would love it. But we also have to thank. And we get addicted to it like Total War. fans around the world for your overwhelming support of this franchise. Yeah, probably. For over 30 years. We can't wait to share more, and we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full reveal of Civilization. He was at the beginning of Civilization. In the meantime, the series. Stay civilized. That's crazy. I didn't know who Sid Meier was. I didn't know who's a real person, to be honest with you. That's how he knows so much about it. Yeah. Is that a, a sperm right there on that game science thing? Oh, is this Black Myth Wukong? Yes, it is, I bet. Maybe like an official trailer. Well, we've had trailers for it. Maybe it's more information. This is going to be sick. Yeah. Monkey. I'm excited for this game. It's been like talked about and like there's been like a gameplay trailer out for like years. What are you Z in this for, retry? This is gonna be good. This is another Sekiro clan. I mean it is a Neo slash Sekiro slash Souls ish Devil May Cry style. I know that's a lot of things I said right there, but it's oh, a, a, like the August 20th, okay. It does look interesting that they pulled off. The combo they've shown looked dope though. I'm sure it'll be good. I Very good tat. I would probably buy this, honestly. <laughs> look at that statue. Yeah. Three hundred dollars probably. Three fifty. At least three hundred. Uh, I well, that's Japanese though. Retry, he's Chinese. Fishing sim. Oh, wait, is this a fishing? Uh, this is they they showed this before. It's a VR game. I think this. Oh right, wait, it's already out. Hmm. 
No, as a, yeah. Okay, that's just a commercial. <laughs> Available now. Yeah, it's commercial. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monolith. That looks cool. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. You wanted to make a get out joke? I got gotcha. you. Mankind was given. Oh, uh, like Jujutsu. I read it as Jutsu. My bad. Not progress, but chaos. Still Japanese. Every new height brings a terrible. I like the creepy atmosphere here. And yet hope still glimmers. Even in the depths what, of the What's unknown, the little snowman? Like mayflies. We die to live what? again. Yeah, I'm in it for the little snowman, I think. Oh no, what is what we got going on here? The smallest creatures I show the greatest resistance. Technically everyone has cursed energy. Alright, fine. Wherever we remain standing, we stand together. Once human, so it looks like it's a co-op experience of some sort. Maybe you can play it single player. What's with the little snowman though, I wonder? Yeah, I would I would consider that one. Oh, was that my was that on my birthday? Was it July 9th? I wasn't paying attention to the release date. Heavenly restriction is one hell of a drug. you you guys are talking the Jujutsu Kais and lore that I'm not aware of now. They said there's a Batman announcement during this. I wonder what it's gonna be. Lego Batman. They could make another Lego Batman, that's true. Oh, I forgot I worked, Oh! Warhammer! Oh, oh, this looks fucking sick. We're playing this together, RP. It's a co-op game. I think it's the one Jason's talking about. Yeah, this looks fucking incredible. I gotta play the first one before I, before this comes out. I'm deep first in Warhammer lore, fantasy, and, and 40k, so I fucking am excited for this. What's the first one? Space Marine. Oh, just space. What, this is space parade too. <laughs> what's that on? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Probably everything. All right, welcome back no, to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've oh, got some I amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited. It's not co-op though. Our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5. There you go, RP. Sura Hashino and Shikadori Sojima. looks awesome. Sojima. This is the one you're excited about. Oh, the, uh, what the hell was it called? I, we'll say the name here in a second, probably. <laughs> Metaphor, here he said Yeah, it. oh, he did. I was, I was reading Retry's message. Pretty Help. sure this is the one. It is, it is. I've been brushing up on my Japanese, so I don't actually need the translator here. You can translate for Thank us. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. I knew it's a pleasure that. to be here with Mr. Soejima. No, this isn't the one. No, they're making a different one that's medieval. It's not this one? I don't think so. It's a brawler magic security. This game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These Either way, this looks sick. Whatever this is. It looks enemies. awesome. Yeah, I like it. I'm excited for this. Archetype is the one who has the fear. He said RPG, I know that word too. <laughs> Hell Divers 2 is really fun, by the way, retry. Yeah, this is the Persona Project? Persona Project? Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. Big Sword! We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can gain experience and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into stronger versions. Is it turn-based? So we are pouring all of our acquired expertise into this game to make it as exciting as possible. In fact, we've even brought our latest trailer today, which is centered around the topic of these archetypes. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy it. 
It is said that we all have I don't to say to inherited that. heroic virtues deep within us. This is not the game I was that I thought it was RP that you, we thought it was at first, I, but this yeah. does look yeah, fucking cool either, either way. We Isn't it not though? No, I think it wait, no it is. This is me this is kind of medieval-ish. This is it. Is that this one? Yeah, this is the one we were talking about before. A great evil flows through this. It's land. just like a you not a it's a like to wield true anime magic. medieval it's where it's not it's really it's medieval. medieval persona. <laughs> yeah, but he's like a knight and shit, right? Yeah, I would well, see. Right, yeah. Yeah, this is the one we're thinking of then. I, I like the Persona game design. Many more protectors yeah. and followers will gather to your side. This looks really cool. Just get prepared to invest 40,000 hours into it. Yeah, for sure. Them. Dude, it could be a bat. Oh, Look at that dude. You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. Yeah, I'm all in on this. This oh, looks fucking cool. You confuse everybody? I just saw that, yeah. No holding back. Now you've acquired a most interesting Yeah, power. this looks really fucking cool. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. These are one of those, like, the super ones right there. Now. Tentacles! Yeah. Those are the DLC ones. Dude, this looks dope. I'm in. It is the right game that are yeah, for sure. It's metaphor re fantasia. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hell yeah. Comes out this year. What was the release date? I looked away. October 11th. Nice. Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look. Yeah, that is gonna be good. Such stunning visual designs. <laughs> sure, we'll unlock Dragoon and never change the rest of the game. Now we're jump the Arkhamverse. Batman hey. Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR oh. game coming later this year. Bold move. As Batman, you face a new threat, the mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotees. Rat. The Skaven. First look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. So you can play as Batman in VR. That is how you said VR. Nobody got excited. Well, yeah. They're they're necessary, I guess. It might, maybe it'll be really There's cool. A new darkness overtaking Gotham. Oh, I don't like you, you. Past. No fur, no tail. Smell no weird. Left. What do you want, drooky scum scum? That's, that's what they're saying to Batman right there. Casting shadows of rats. See, Skaven. There's some really good VR games. Good. I mean, yeah, it, it might be, it will probably be a solid VR game, I bet. Fear is their weapon. Scarecrow? But they're not the only ones who can use it. Where is the Rat King? Mark Hamill wishes the chance. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? He definitely won't kill anybody. This hurt them really badly. I thought it was going to be a Batman meta quest for a second there when it first came on screen. Like a specific version? Yeah, like, you know, like they did, used to do that. Like, they, they still do that with consoles, I think. You can get a special. The a collector's edition, yeah. Okay. Maybe if you're a big Batman guy, the Rat King is relevant to you. I'm looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now, it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game franchise. And that includes me. Soul Calibur. Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. So, let's check it out. What do we think it is? Oh, it's, uh, never mind. Anime fighting game? What would this be? Marvel vs. SNK. Oh, you think? Uh, I don't recognize anybody, but I'm not a big. Or is it uh, like? Oh, uh, Terry Bogard, uh, right? Blaze from? Blue, Blaze Blue. That's Terry Bogard. What's he from? King of Fighters. Oh, uh, I think you're right. Yeah. Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury. Is that the name of a fighting series? I never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Fatal Fury is right. Oh. All right, I'm all in on my. What? Wait, I take that back. Who's this? <laughs> Never mind, I'm all in on Elena. What? Street Fighter? Oh, is it a crossover game? Probably. Poop. Wonder if it's like a something versus something. Where's Ev? Is Ev now? I don't think Ev's here. Ev would know probably though. 
Yeah, because this is now this is this is the Street Fighter like aesthetic now. Is it just Street Fighter and that was just like DLC characters or something? Oh yeah. Wait, in year two. Oh, they're, they're just adding characters to Street Fighter. Is that what this is going on here? Okay, what is this? We'll never know. I know they didn't say. The Scots rebelled. Oh wait, is this the Berserker game thing? Nope, this is different. Never mind. The fuck is going on here? Yeah, nothing crazy, Kenny. Oh god, I like it. I'm in. Tears of metal. Oh fuck, dude. Here we go. Tears of metal. Oh, shut up. Once the bagpipes on, I get hyped. Oh shit. Oh, is it a roguelike? Maybe? I think it is. Oh, uh, do you can make little squads? It's, it is a roguelike, okay. Dude. Yes, I'll play this. Is it a roguelike combined with like a Dynasty Warrior stuff? Yeah, if it, as long as this music plays in the background, I'm full, I'm all in. That's pretty cool. Right, the music is enough. So I that's co-op it looks like with maybe with friends. Yeah, RP, get it, get ready. Tears of metal. I'm gonna, tears or tears? I, I'm gonna play as the, the wolf dude in the back. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Unreal engine. That looks cool though. Oh, this is the new Dragon Ball Z game. This is going to be pretty cool, too. Sparking we'll Zero? Uh, spa sparking something. Sparking Zero. Sparking Zero. This is like a lot of fun. I'm probably just going to get this and just play it myself. Right. I, you, I mean, it's a Budokai Tenkaichi game. Those are just fucking good. They're fun. Yeah. I wonder if you get to play the same the whole story again, like every single Dragon Ball I, Z I game. I hope so. <laughs> They better do that. It looks like you can. Based off these scenes, we're playing through. recorded everything. Yeah. All right, so we can play through the. Oh, new possibilities. Oh, you can change. All right, this is cool. You can you can change what happens. Can you be like what if scenarios? Yeah, he goes Super Saiyan early. Oh, dude. Drunk says, my father and son, final class. All right, I'm all in. I'm, never mind, we might stream this. I changed my mind. This is fucking sick. You can change the timeline. I just want to play as Broly. Broly's a good guy. That has to be an option. Who's that guy, RP? Jiren? Oh, that, that was Jiren at the end there? Okay. I'm gonna pre-order. I, I, I need Broly. I'm gonna have to pre-order this fucking game. <laughs> there you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Uh, another now October 11th release. Of Delta Force nice. Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally up. No, I'll just look them up later, Cookie. Operation that looks cool, though. But the Persona game, the Dragon Ball Z, and Ter Tears of Metal, that, those all look fucking cool. Is this a team, team shooter kind of thing? Like, like, PvP team shooter? Like, whatever? Looks like yeah. someone beat us to it. We need Is to pick it up. PvP or PvE? Nah, it looks like uh that looks like PvE. Yeah. I was thinking it was like two squads, maybe trying to do the same objective, and they kill each other. I'm going in. But maybe not. Okay, wait, 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 oh, it's an extraction shooter? I don't listen. Okay. There. So it's like Tarkov, okay. But it looks like it wants you to play with other people in this case, because isn't Tarkov like you're by yourself? I don't know anything about Tarkov, really. It's like a payday style game. Similar, I think. Yeah. All clear. Prepare for decoding. You can solo or with the squad. The drill is over. 
Operation commences. Good luck. Delta Force Hawk Ops. PvPvE. But gotcha. that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. That's kind of cool. That movie's Here sick. Is your world and, premium and first sad, look at that obviously. Game? All right, that's actually really cool. I would, I would play this campaign. Black Hawk Down. Oh, I didn't know there was a Delta Force Black Hawk Down game back in the day. Wasn't that just like a throwback right there for a second? Maybe not. You think Tarkov's toxic as hell? I can believe that for the way, because of the way the gameplay works. It's rough when they show gameplay like this and it's clearly not done because like the frame rate looks bad right now. And I, I hope, I mean, obviously they'll probably fix that before it comes out, hopefully. And now I have an update for you on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. So <laughs> for real, this, this is time. the other game. You're, this is the series you were thinking of, right, RP? I don't know, is it? Fatal Fury. Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever heard of this fighting game series before. The kid grew up! I think there were a couple of movies I used to watch at Fatal Fury. Oh, really? Yeah. I watched the Big Fighter movies, but they were Fatal Fury. Whoa! Holy shit! What happened right there? <laughs> I blacked out for a second, my bad. Oh, speaking of the Black Hawk Down movie, the actors went through boot camp to condition them, and on the way, on the final day, the drill instructors put a pair of empty boots at the end of each bed for the men oh, that died cool. during the incident. Oh, that's. I like that. Love her, yeah. You white splash just now? White splash? I've never heard it referred to that before. Reach out when he plays Halo. Dude, that's Master Chief right there, guys. Take his helmet off. He doesn't have a crush. What is this a commercial for? Audio? Okay. Dude, so my driver has been like down the road for like 10 minutes. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. He's dropping off some other order. Chicken club sandwich, Fizzy. What is I got this? Jolly oh, I just saw him out the window. They just dropped it off. What's the good choice? The Jolly Bee that RP got? I never had it. Is it good? Terry's funny to you because he got added to Smash Bros. Everyone got mad because he utilizes inputs. <laughs> what the hell is this? What are we watching right now? Gameplay trailer. You've never had Jolly Bee? Is that, is that more in the South? That, that, uh, franchise? Yes, I, I really don't know. I'm gonna go grab my food while this plays because I'm not interested in this, I don't think. Okay. Let me know if it's good. Chat and RP. Oh, he's missing the mechs. 
He's gonna be upset. I come back to big robot. This is mecha break. It's probably mecha break. I'm like torn on whether this is going to be any good or not, though, to be honest with you guys. I mean, that looks sick right there. I actually applied to get into a test for this, but I, I didn't get in. I mean, I would. We'll try it. I'll, I'll be, I'm willing to try it because big robot. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. That's fair, Belly. I think it'll suck, but it guys on Mecha. It might be good. It's just a little guy, a little chicken club. Spooky game. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. I got it grilled because I'm trying to be uh, healthy. It's very sad right now. Well, where'd that come from? We went anime all of a sudden. I cannot sleep. All right, that's I actually kind of cool sleep. when it goes back and forth like that. I must not sleep. Oh, these I are multiple games. Never mind. Sleep. And I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghost actually that's terrifying right there. I'll protect you. Amy, I'll save you no matter what. Just go home. Hell yeah, Dan. Cookie. Congratulations. The local police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? It should have some developer mode. I kind of like this. Like when they're fucking with the graphics like that. For these different games, that's cool. And Barlow. Who's that? Dark times await us. So they're, they're releasing a bunch of games then. Are they going to have a bunch of games coming out? Uh, that's not good, Billy. Are you getting that looked at? Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, the best way to lose weight is definitely diet. You'll be very happy to know which is the hardest thing for me. At this very minute on the sequel like what, of Five Nights said, cut out sugar in one big meal a day. <sighs> That's so fucking Don't hard. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is. Uh, to my great relief, getting more and more popular. Our movies are working, it's working on streaming, it's working in live events, and we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're gonna do independent games, we're gonna look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can. Maybe it's a mask and a retry. Really cool <laughs> games. <laughs> well, they, they, look, they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of 
nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cosy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres to explore and our independent development partners, they feel the same and they're just as excited, which means we've got psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have cosmic horror. And our team has worked really cosmic hard horror. to work with global, creative, talented partners. And that means for us that we really want to as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks, you know, we can be flexible, and really we can I push the, the limits of what's possible <laughs> in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. It's probably going to be about two yeah, hours, Billy. It, really. it looks, looks awesome, all the stuff you have there, and I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but Based some of these are year. coming soon, Jason, right? we got a good slate. Well, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console, and, um, and uh, yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev Showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Well. I know this is just the start, so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games. But guys, what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing, right? What these guys are pulling off. Jason, Luis, thanks so much for being here on Summer Games. Thank you, guys. All right. And now here's the, beans the world cookie. premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with Dude! a retro feel. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, RP. Is RP not here? Oh, fuck. oh there he is. <laughs> Dude. Is that a beat him up? It looks like a beat him up. Flame him out. Oh, it's a beat him up, RP. I'm back in, I'll play it. Yep. Fuck yeah. 1000% in. This looks so fucking cool. It looks like the old arcade games. Why didn't, yeah, why didn't they just keep that style for these animations? Why, wow, everything looks good. The game looks great, I'm talking about these. Oh, I see what you mean. Eh, stylize it a little bit. Oh, no. dude, look at that. I love that. There's 3D, holy shit. Yeah. It's gonna be spending a lot of money later this year. It does, yeah, Kenny. This is gonna be fucking cool. I'm the Red Ranger, we know that already. Cause I have to be the main character. I'm just kidding. I mean, you're not kidding. But. Where is fucking Power Rangers in space? God damn it. In the garbage. Oh, man. That looks like it'll be five player co-op. So if you guys want to play it, we can play it. Well, I'll get it that on Steam or death, something. Kids? He's dead, what? You think game's about death, kids? Deaf or dead? Deaf. How do you know he's deaf? I'm getting my food. But this looks depressing. This deer's gonna die. Oh god, what if he gets shot by a hunter? Dead? Oh, dead. Yeah, I'm already depressed. This and that in the, in, in the Neva game look both look like they're gonna be so sad. Oh, the deer's already dead? Okay. That's not as sad then. I don't want to play games that make me emotional. What? Okay, that's dramatic shift. <laughs> All right, Deer and Boy. I love the name. First off, that's, that's incredible. Second, 
I think I would like it. It'd be sad. It looks what sad, though. What a beautiful game, Deer and Boy, which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with you like the Deer comes first, yeah. the French government and games like that or why we do this show, giving first-time developers a chance to show you what they're working on. All right, next, after a long wait, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is arriving later this year. This is a first-person open-world action RPG from Warhorse Studios. Here is a brand new look. Think Skyrim, but super realistic. The best laid plans of men. People like the first one. Don't always come to fruition. Man proposes. But God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith, and the other's a blue blooded fledgling. You behave like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father. There are many sinners in this world. <laughs> but in the end, we all face your judgment. Like I said, the first one, people done. liked it a lot. But lacked the courage I would, to do. I would be down to try this. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! God, is this retribution for my sins? They're given like big time, like, random medieval movie vibes right now that came out in like 2010 and I like that even though I don't think it's gonna be funny I think it's gonna be relatively serious Come on. the combat looks kind of sick too task. Yeah, that looks cool. I remember when the first one came out, people liked it a lot. I watched some gameplay of it. Next, it's slow to start, but it picks up. Of Silent Hill creator Keiichiro Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. What was it? S Slitterhead? gonna be very uh mind fucky probably if it's, if it's made by the silent hill silent hill dude Okay. Do you possess people? Oh my. Always with the tenties, huh? So wait, you just keep jumping bodies? So you just, wait, do you just like possess people and try to kill these monsters with them? I'm sure there's more than that, but. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. That's not what I expected to see, to be honest with you. Yeah, this looks kind of trippy in like a good way. Like with, are, so are you like just grabbing random people then each one has different, like you can activate different powers with them or something or? I, this whole like jumping body to body is kind of cool. So wait, is he using their the, the little ghosty thing? Is like using their blood to do all these things? Slitterhead, huh? Yeah, blood powers. I never watched Deadman Wonderland though. What what is this? Set up a what is that? 
What the fuck? Okay, thick. Holy shit. Is he? A, is that a peanut? What the fuck is he? What is that? That's what I call a dramatic entrance. What There's in the actual fuck? Why I'm called Killer Bean. Killer Bean. It's because I'm good at what I do. What in the actual? Fuck? Really? Really? Good. Bro, what the fuck is going on here? I don't understand. He used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. An international organization powerful enough to shape the world. The Killer Until Bean movie is real? And try to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency! <laughs> Well, it is sure nice to meet you before you die. What in the actual fuck is this game, dude? What? What the fuck? <laughs> they made me who I am. There was a bean, a bean meme. Pay for it. Killer bean. This looks mod. The game looks fucking wild. Glad you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike shooter made by another oh, a single roguelike. developer. Believe it or not, right bean here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun. It's amazing what can happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't. No, it's just not indie games, Billy, but they're and trying to give indie games a bigger platform, I think. Uh, they started off with saying that. In such extreme conditions. Let's be honest. This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. The, the percentage of indie games that are better uh, than AAA is titles is definitely skewing to towards the indie games now. Limits. You climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. Because, you know, these people actually it's care about the games they make. And, realistic. and they don't have these giant comp companies saying, like, no, the add this, add this, add this. And what you're going to see in the trailer big, big is lazy, not from yeah. cutscenes. And fucking it's the greedy -er. climbing gameplay. <laughs> you can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. Gaming is art. Yeah, the people are artists, right? Exactly. And I feel like they take that away with a lot of AAA titles. Not all, but a lot. This looks stressful. People do this shit for like fun. You realize that, guys? They just climb up fucking mountains. He's saying peak because uh, of the feet. I know why he's saying it. It's fine. You've rock climbed nothing like this. Bro, just just sleeping in a tent on a mat. What the fuck? That's, that's crazy to me. Peak like a mountain. He he. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So wait, do you like have to do the placements for all the body parts then? Is that what's going on here as you climb? So I wonder if it's like a climbing survival game. Karen. 
I'd watch someone play this. Annapurna Interactive. Okay. They make games. I forget which ones, but they make them. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena. In combat. What? But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard. They just take patience. And I'm not really the patient type. But I'm surviving. Of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop, to see if my help is needed anywhere. And when all Chicken. the chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I'm happy. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop. Something bad's running. happening, I think. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. <gasps> Wonder stop. Looks interesting. I would I, not not my kind of game, but it looks interesting. That was Wonderstop, the announcement of the next game from Davy Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait to play that. Trash. All right, now here's a look dramatic. at the story trailer for Unknown Nine: Awakening, a narrative action adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. The fold. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. The hell's on his arms? Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. I don't know. This looks interesting. I, I don't know if it'd be something I'd play, but it looks like it, it's kind of cool if you're into that. I wonder if it's going to be a series. A strange place. Vincent found something down there. I don't know. Hey, how about we hey Monster Hunter Stories. I finally have some oh, is it a is it a re-release of number one? Now steal your Looks heart. like it. Adventure stars. Yeah. And stories too, nice. I want to play Monster Hunter Stories at some point because they do look really fun. I watched a full play of the second one though, so like I don't even know if it's worth me playing it now because I know what happens. we got here oh is this the new um hold on let's see it's a new souls like game i think i think this is it yeah it takes place in like spain or somewhere ah, taken Walks into my great i've seen a bunch of streamers playing this and, and like people on youtube yeah like a, it's like a Mediterranean setting, I guess. Is that Spanish? I think they were, that's kind of Spanish, right? I don't know. Where's where that? I think it's Spain, either way. Feel honored to fight a legend. Yo, 
Benever, thank you for the resub. How's it going? 17 months, I appreciate it. Twitch Unity. Fine. Change the mask. Yep, this is the game I was thinking of. It's all about the masks. Yes, indeed, Benefit. I didn't know till like the other day, like two days ago. How do you not have a hole in your stomach? Oh. Guns! Oh, he's gonna put the mask on. Yeah. They don't realize he's much smaller than the previous dude. Where is but one certainty in the cosmos? Yeah. And en Enotria, the last song. This game does look really interesting, actually. You were out last, uh, last night. I feel so tired. Right, we're back I feel here you. live for more Summer Game Fest. The first Descendant, powered by Unreal Engine 5, is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release, and we're very happy. Wait, why did he debut specifically call it the grappling hook mechanic? Of the release date. Like that's that feels very like specific. The problems with these games are they're fun. They're like popular for like a month and then they just die out hard. Because grappling hook is fun. Oh, the demo. Yeah, the demo is out for that other game in, in Etria. Like in, in theory, the theory behind these games is a good idea, but in practice, it seems like they die like super fast. Hell Divers is so popular. There's not so enough popular. content to sustain them. What's up? There's not enough content to sustain them. Right. But Hell Divers is insane. That's why it's good reach, right? It's, just, it's fucking crazy. Every every time you drop, it's different. Yeah, no post-launch support. What was that one game that was... TZ, are you here? What was that game that me, you, and already played for a little while? That, like, bombed hard. But it was a triple-A release. It was like a, it was a, like a looter-shooter co-op game. I can't remember what it's called. Like, this looks cool. I mean, I'd like to see real gameplay, obviously. I, I, I remember you guys playing that game. I think it's cool. Yeah. It'd be cool but if it wasn't it, long. Yeah, we, we played it for like, I played it for like 40 or 50 hours, but like, it just hit a point where it was boring. This looks sick, right. like, the aesthetics here, but like, is it gonna be like, what's, what's it like in practice, you know? Right, there's so many that you have to try to stand out as well. Yeah, exactly, Billy. It's a combination, no post-launch support. They're, they get boring, all of the above. This one might be different, though. Like I said, the aesthetic looks really cool. But, I don't know. That looks awesome. The first descendant will be available. What if she's just like this looks like Xbox fucking garbage? <laughs> Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July second. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game Among Us took the world by storm and a couple of uh. game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. Wait, these are the people who made Among Us? Is that what you I was We'll go with that. Sus. I'm never going to play that on stream. What's up, gamers? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> can, you, can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones. Like I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3. They can do very sus things. Oh, all right. Well, turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you right, all Right, Benefer. They're, they're, uh, they're also live service. They're competing so with every other live service games game. In recent years, but it's also been a secret. You want to no murder me in Minecraft? It's kind of a rough time in the industry. Been there. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. 
This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates. What is that pin on players, his collar? Players, the dog? Some games what is that? The devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. I, I really want games. There definitely is, Benefer. There, there, there's a big push <laughs> with this game, this Summer Games Fest, to push indie better, games out there. More sustainable industry. Which I'm cool with, because like I said, really indie games are being are trending better than any AAA titles that come out anyway. <laughs> To reveal it here and show you the, the current lineup of games kind of we've managed to yeah. fund because of you. It looks like golden And dog, don't worry, it? Jeff. It has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indie games are pure art. Exactly. Exactly. Indie games are where most of the innovation in the industry is. Right. Agreed. 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 Hi. I'm Ian from ShapeShot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG. Card Battle battler Super RPG! Pieces. With robot cards! I'm in. And what was that called? The Marsfield Archives, a game about building You'll never and exploring know. connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for one button bosses or boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to that beat. sounds cool actually hey i'm Huzbon, that's pretty neat game director at huscrofts and this is rogue eclipse our epic spaceflight action roguelike where you'll have to customize and master your starfighter take on Merciless this also Armadas, sounds pretty fucking cool and vanquish a fleet of colossal i want a new digimon game and we do have one more game that's very early in development Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon Age. Oh, in our bird. new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. That's like a really cool Project concept. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. Yeah, that, that was a good little showcase right there. There was like 90% of the games were fucking cool. Or interesting to me, at least. Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. That case, Did you know that right there's going you? to be an Among Us TV show? Oh, God, no. Is there really? <laughs> Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be I didn't know an that. Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. I'm, uh, is I, it? Wish, I wish a reality show with celebrities. That would actually be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it animated? Yeah, okay, it is. That is just the intro. It'd be way more funnier if it wasn't animated and it was just people in suits that look like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's like top tier YouTube content. You're right. I can't believe they're making an Among Us TV show. That is fucking insane to me. What's the premise? I don't, I don't know either. Do they talk? This is like some shit you'd see on Adult Swim back in the day. Little 15 minute episodes or whatever. Yes. Patton Oswald, Ashley Johnson. Do you know those Elijah people? Wood. Elijah Wood? Damn, all right. Yeah. Ashley Johnson is a. Up next, we have Sonic X oh. Shadow Generations. There you go, RP. Sonic. A definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time for a glimpse Sonic. of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. There was a new game. Wait, what do you mean? She's trying not to laugh at what? This looks cool. You're a Sonic enjoyer. So they, are they like remaking a bunch of levels then from all the games? Is that the idea here? Yeah, she said there was a bunch of. Yeah, but it's a new game that it has all the new level, all the old levels in it, but in a new coat of paint, pretty much. Yes. Three hedgehogs. Who's number three? Is it Knuckles? That's a choice. I saw Sh oh, uh, Metal Sonic. Classic Sonic. Oh, it's a re-release of Generations. Okay. Yeah, who's the third hedgehog? The Metal Sonic? No, he was running for Metal Sonic there. 
So do you get to play as Shadow instead of Sonic in these bits? Is that the... I don't know. You get to play as either or, I think. Yeah. It's classic Sonic the third one. What the fuck is wrong with him? You got wings? That's Chaos Control, dude. So who's the third hedgehog? Classic oh. Sonic. Uh oh. He's just shorter. <laughs> he also doesn't talk. The year of Shadow, right? Uh, You're the Sonic guy. December the Shadow Campaign is a new edition. Stuff. Okay. All right. In the upcoming online survival game, Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Let's find out for the first time what that is. I didn't know. That. The I forgot. Only piece I, find I forgot there was a Dune game coming out. Never happened. I went deep into the One into the Dune lore for a while there after I watched the second movie. Was never born. I dream of a rock, his brother. I created the future. I was deep into the popcorn bucket until. Oh God! It created me. It's Paul Atreides. But I see a narrow way, a path that might. That's not Timothy Chalamet. They missed. They missed. Represent. They, the character wasn't like created correctly here. Orders and given birth to a girl. Everything would change. Oh my. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. Oh, different timeline. Trades surviving the battle of Your hard being pilled. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Yeah, it looks like an alternate universe thing. Fremen. What's that Warhammer game called? Terminated. Space Marines. Space Marine. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al Gaib. What? No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. This one leads to you. That that seems kind of interesting. Yeah. A Dune open world survival MMO. More Dune Awakening coming okay. at Gamescom ONL in August. Now well, the it classes, is time to though. see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. Where is Silk Song? All these indie game titles, where's Silk Song? Yeah, that'll give them creative freedom. That's true. Please be in robots. Come on. Give me the robots. Giant mechs. Come on. Oh. All right. Well, they, have, right now. they got guns. Those aren't mechs, though. I think they're just guns. Dude, Watch it's a... Um, what's that old game where... Missile or tow, missile defense or whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about? Did you watch that, um, what was that anime? It's for like 87 or something. No, I've heard it's really good though. It was really good. Um, this is the kind of mechs they have, smaller ones. Uh, okay, like the spider ones style. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 86, yeah. Silk Song 2030, yeah. Battle Aces? Gameplay, game please. Play. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay, oh, here's nice. David Kim Hell yeah. from Uncapped Games. Right, here we go. Thanks, Jeff. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. RTS, I'm in. Brand new to RTS as I well fucking as love RTS, RTS games. Veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. What about Starcraft? You didn't say Starcraft. Specific RTS fun to That's the wrong take, Billy. He's too, young, he's too young for Starcraft. First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players someone's APM must be too low for RTS. It's okay, uh, Billy. Possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS. No! As much as possible. I so want the tedious clicks. This game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So 
if you want to learn more about Battle Aces or if you want to sign up Fun for our beta test that's <laughs> coming up very soon, then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. I've heard the Dean Thank RTS you. is pretty good, Benifer. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, the finals, with its unparalleled destruction. TZ, if you're here, I think TZ was playing this game. game show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will you know, be in you the know, the new season. You know, Spice Wars hard after the movie. Nice. 13th. I, well, I, I um, was going to buy the books, but I didn't buy them. To season three I, well, I listened to a bunch finals. of podcasts talking about them. I think Gary and his friends played this, too. The finals. I think. A apparently, it's not bad. I don't know. I'm not. It's not my thing. I wouldn't play this, but if, if this is what I'm thinking of, then yeah, they did. Yeah, this is it. It looks fun. I thought it was a PvP game. Is it? Is it? I oh, know it is. It is. It is, yeah. You played the finals at launch, it was fun, had a, but I had a problem with hackers for a while. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Wait, does so one team play as the venue? Like, the, 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 like the arena is based off, and the other one plays as, like, random characters? Or how does this work? We'll never know. Free to play. You can just play and find out. The yeah. finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards. In universe of VR game show being live streams. Like a, like a game oh, okay. Alan Wake 2 won too many awards. In my opinion. No, it was a. I think that's fantastic. Enough. Game. Thank you. Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. Wait, wasn't that game? Many of DLC, you probably. have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far. Digital only. Oh, they're going to release a physical well, copy. Okay. We are excited to announce physical <laughs> deluxe editions and Buy. physical collector's editions. Buy the game again if you love Alan it. Wake 2 coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Next, we promised you some expansion content for Alan Wake 2. Physical media is a good thing, but it's still I'm shitty they're releasing it afterwards. You have to buy it again if you want the physical copy of it. Night Springs. <laughs> It'd be cool if they reflected that in the price. It contains Correct. three episodes. Yeah. If you, if you could somehow show you have the game already. Fan favorite, playable characters. So they discount it 60 bucks. In mysterious, for even the if they just terrifying put, it, put it out 60 bucks cheaper. Quirky, well, what if. Scenario. Yeah, because they said deluxe and collector's edition, so they wouldn't come in a standard disc really then, just you can't just buy the game. Out there, as if you probably you can. Already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours. <laughs> Tomorrow. You couldn't do the math. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. Thanks. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there, and yet always familiar to us in Night Springs. I like a Twilight Zone opening. Yeah. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. <laughs> and I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. 
this oh, is that's cool. Get they put strange. the uh, the dude who's He's on, the on stage, yeah, and that oh, that was an actor right there. Something was different. That dude looks so familiar. What is he in? I got a wait is that that's a real shotgun who can ever truly know quantum break thank you rabbit hole goes in night springs that's pretty neat yeah ice man and old x-men movies that's what i was thinking of actually benifer oh uh, is this a uh, fucking They've come what is that game mythical shores fuck what is it called not arc what the fuck was this called I, 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 pl I played it. Yeah, I played it for a little while. It was boring. The fuck? A cruel and beautiful paradise. Where primal forces not Sea of Thieves. That's not Amazon. This is a... It's an MMO. Over the island's deepest I can't remember what it was called, but it was boring as hell. In my opinion, it was boring as hell. Compared to Final Fantasy and WoW. You're also both boring, so. Not true. New World, thank you. It was New World. This looks like New World. Expansion, yeah. We should play ESO. No. That game is not boring. I don't like the combat. Is eternal. We'll get used to it. I would. I played ESO back in the day when it came out. You gotta play it now, dude. There's like a new expansion right, coming new out for world, that too. New World Eternum yeah. will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game I mean, bundle for Hong Kong. You, you understand, Rail, Billy, they're not competing with 14. They're competing with, they're competing with World of Warcraft, of which is still Star the biggest Rail, MMO, Koyo followed by 14. This fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special no, Club program Penguin's a few MMO. hours ago. <laughs> Club Penguin. There's more. A play sneak Warframe. peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Uh, not even close. Look it up, Billy. WoW has millions more players than 14. Why do people choose? Oh, this is Honkai. Star Rail. It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. Star Rail was fun. The, the two weeks that I played it. Everything is possible in this land of dreams. Then I did drop it. That is correct. I Nothing will ever compete with Epic Seven for me. I'm sorry. Seven was great. That looks pretty cool, though. I like that he has like a. A mech stand. I didn't play Star Rail enough to actually unlock any of the mech characters. Oh, the robot, his name is Sam? Oh. Do you play Star Rail, Cookie? Who doesn't play Star Rail, dude? Oh, you do? Okay. Because the little girl character had a robot stand, too. Her? No, you get her at the beginning of the game. Wait, that's different her, I think. She has a bow, I thought. Maybe it's another version? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, fire. I'm talking about Clara? I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I'll agree. Yes. Oh, wait, RP. This game looked interesting. I think... I, yeah, Dark and Darker. We should try this at some point. Let's go up? Yeah. Why are skeletons bleeding? I'm out. I, yeah, I don't know that either. But like, you play as different classes and stuff. And I think there's like other people can come and kill you too while you're going through dungeons and shit. Like that. <laughs> it looks cool though. Oh, I saw spiders. I'm out. Never mind. I could play as a barbarian. You can play as a mage. 
You can buff my sword. I can play Jabu with the word. Yeah, exactly. Wait, that, is that a druid? Yeah. I wonder if it's a new class. Maybe not. There you have it, the Unforgiving Fantasy FPS Dungeon PvPVE Adventure Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this week. I thought it was right. out already, though. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater. It's out we right now. You're not listening? And ahead of the show, four lucky I fans. I thought it was out before today, to though. VIP section, thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP. Oh, it got taken down. Like okay. One. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. The what? The who? Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. It's a Capcom game, so I have faith in it. RP, you saw there was another, a new Dynasty Warriors announced, right? I saw you talking about it. I didn't see the game. Though. Okay, you should look it up. I might get it. Is it co-op? <laughs> I mean, isn't Dyna all Dynasty Warriors are co-op, aren't they? I mean, is it online co-op? Oh, I don't know. I, I probably. This does look cool. A lot going on here. Watsu. I, I don't know what what's going on there though. It's like an RTS action. It's uh, it, it, it kind of looks like an ARPG. I would like to play Dynasty Warriors together. I would too. I like how it says it may contain content inappropriate for children, but also is in the colors, the color palette and style that kids love. Yeah. Like literally, it looks like Fortnite almost. To me, at least, I'm getting old now, so everything looks like Fortnite that I. It's colorful. Hyper Light Breaker. That looks cool. Well, you're a cute little doggy, don't you know? <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> well, I think we saw this trailer, didn't we? Yeah, I think I think I want to say there was people playing this on like alpha release or something, maybe early on. I don't remember. Or it could have been it could have been a different game. It's like a it's like a uh, Physics game, but like, like a gang beast or something. Yeah. It's big, a fun game to play with. Yeah. Gang beast, like I never heard of gang beast. Really? Besides the last time I, we, we saw this trailer and you probably said that to me. We know you may have heard the stories about the fine people here at mm -hmm. Mcorp, so we <laughs> wanted to, to take happen? this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at Mcorp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great for you. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at M Corp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks. 
because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing what in this town. All those lies. What's going on here? Everyone in M Corp <laughs> is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, <laughs> tissues. Come on, pal. Ah! <laughs> Come on, faster. You're, I think you're supposed to be lost right now. That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. <laughs> that's actually a home issue. <laughs> we love it here at M Corp, and we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. Sounds like our meetings at work. Right. <laughs> the, the leader in creative accounting. <laughs> no context? You know all right. You know where that guy's from? Uh, welcome now, he looks familiar, though. What is he from? And now let's head he's from, uh, I think you should leave. Oh, uh, uh, I've seen skits. Sketches. I've seen yeah. Skits, yeah, yeah. sketches from that before. Never watched the show itself. Hey, Jeff. How you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're going to need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. What is going on Tony here? Hawk? Skate? I'm. S what the fuck is? Eight four. Yeah, but like the trailer, like what was the point of the M Corp thing? I don't know. Pre pre alpha. Is it like a big multiplayer thing you can do? You can do then with the, with this game. That's kind of cool. We're skating on their property. It's pissing the CEO off. Very exciting. I didn't read the website name, Benefer. Be able to play Shit. skate on console in the near future. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right. I'm talking about Power Power World. world. <laughs> I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. The summer game fest. <laughs> I never now, played this, but it looks so first fun. Major update announcement: A whole new island is coming. Maybe we should play region. Power World RP. If you want to, we could try it. There's the Arcanine knockoffs. <laughs> Frogman! Oh, it's a, oh, a little mimic chest. Oh, that dude looks cool right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're doing dedicated servers now? I, I didn't realize they didn't have dedicated servers before. I mean, I like it's these kind of like... It's, Go ahead. They said Xbox dedicated servers. Yeah, which doesn't really help. But yeah, well, it's on Game Pass. Right, so I wonder if that means like, just specifically for Xbox. Right. Like, you could always do it on PC, probably. Yeah. When is the Power World Soul Link and Nuzlocke? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this looks kind of cool. I've, it looked interesting back when it was released, and I watched some people play it, and it kind of looked fun. I mean, if you're into that kind of game you'd enjoy it so maybe you don't do you benefit do you typically like those kind of games i was high on the steam charts uh, congrats to uh power world on the new update next up we've got a big announcement from valorant here's andy oh Hull yeah and our valorant from the valorant dev team guys i love valorant thanks jeff hey everyone since 2020 we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the valorant moment the big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players this. all over the world have earned their own Valor moments on PC. And today, the stage is set. It's Riot's version of Counter-Strike, Billy. Of players. Let's take Maybe a look. Mine. Shut up, Mark. Have you ever played Valorant? Yeah. I don't believe you at all. All the time, dude. 
I, at least an hour a day. So this is one of those things where it's, I think it's fun to watch people who are really good at, good at this game play it because it's entertaining, but I could never, me. I could never get into this myself. The, uh, the dexterity required to, to actually kill people in this game, I don't have that. It, it, headshot. Yeah. it has a different but equally toxic fan of his counter strike yeah i mean this kind of game uh, it's like league it's naturally toxic based off the way the games are played are these new characters or are these just showing like Crazy plays. Okay. I don't even understand what's going on here, man. Explain what the game is. Like, I don't know what any of these people's abilities do, actually. Oh, well, that one, okay. I got that. I understand what that one's doing. The other one was a teleport. One broke the ice walls. They make gas? Smoke? Or is yeah, it gas? Big... Smoke wall. It's Overwatch Counter Strike, but made by League of Legends. You have to remember, Valorant has unlimited funding because of League, so. Also, that is it more Valorant's popular than Counter Strike now? Gameplay. She Everything you just saw was captured on console and with This is why you get lost in games. <laughs> Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this oh, year. Oh, that's cool. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta.playvalorant. I knew it was really popular. I'm just wondering if it passed up Counter Strike so excited for on the competitive side, you make know, sure for popularity. That Valorant plays great on console. And we hope to see you soon in the limited Everybody game. can have fucking aim assist. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, Anna Dunn. Valorant. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Do you think Seeing she's a teleprompter? Evolved, as new players bring their passion yes. and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so, so excited For sure. to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Have you seen trailers for uh, the Bears season three? I have not. Actually, are those new RP? There's always, one tra There's always one trailer for it. Yeah. I always like the idea of being really good at a game like this. Then I realize I never will be, and I forget about it. You'll never be really good. <laughs> I play all day, every day. Yeah. And still not be good at it. Yeah, yeah, you'll just be mid. You like games like this? The, the fandom just always turns toxic and you drop it. Just gotta mute all as soon as the game starts. You need call outs and stuff. Yeah, that's fair. I think that if I ever was going to be good at a competitive game, my best chance was League of Legends, and I, I'm i not good at it, so. <laughs> and I played that a lot, and I'm still not good at it, comparatively. Is that Pokey Manager earlier? I think it was. Exciting to have Riot on console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at Real Dash. talk. If I was ever going to be good at a game, it was competitive. It would have been Heroes of the Storm. I'm taking Sign this back about League. I was good at Heroes of the Storm, fees, but then it died. You get 50% off your next DoorDash order. 
Now, here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yong Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon. One thing you'll compliment about Claude, their pink system is so well, good, you don't, need a, week, you don't need a mic. Yong oh, is cool. going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where Damn, he plays that was 50 a years fictional ago. It was video retry. game character, Lance was there. I liked Slash it. Blade, and we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. Pretty cool. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Fuck? Why is he here? <laughs> yeah, I always thought Ryami had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. <laughs> oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, <laughs> deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not. <laughs> Deserve to be thrown away. Aren't those uh, the feeling the things from the one movie? His power yeah, from Inside Out. Yeah. yeah. This is the theme from the second movie. Oh, okay. Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior. Curse. Yeah, Alex, he has low With fidelity as well. Attack. Yeah, that's Violet's like turn. Curse your gift. He has hair clipped through his body. Shield yeah. yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free. <laughs> The, fuck? <laughs> the number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new. It is. I didn't know that. Monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan what? the QR code. But Samsung was the number one gaming monitor Samsung company in the U.S. Through June seventeenth, no. plus a chance to win five thousand dollars Samsung credit for U.S. residents. Summer Game I can buy your Pass fridge. Twenty twenty four. Look at all of you cooped up watching <laughs> video game fuck? announcements. <laughs> and yes, chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung. And today. Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in called Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things, and Chicken has a big role. That's all that matters. What the and fuck? Here, is this Clash of Clans? It is. Squad up. Or by, from the same people as Clash of Clans. There it is. What's going on? Who are you? <laughs> Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. <laughs> We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fun. I drink. I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Come on, get up. I am button. Dude, they got some heavy down, hitters so. in this yeah. fucking trailer. Yeah, get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because. Uh, because and your sword plates on it, but your sword plates. Fucking Chris Hemsworth right there? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Also, I've pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. Which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> What's the part about There's more where that came from. <laughs> oh, I, I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. <laughs> Relax. Just push. Supercell has that mobile game money. That's why they can afford this fucking trailer. This is a commercial. <laughs> Is that Nicholas Cage? Is he the lumberjack? You call this a squad? Oh, I, uh, I don't think so. Pathetic. Pasta. Jinx. 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 No, you jinx. You supposed to be a lumberjack? No, I don't mess up Nicholas Cage. I don't want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. <laughs> it's what happens when you release a very successful mobile game. <laughs> Free try. Yeah, I never believe in you. Good boy. Here. I mean, I played Clash Clans back in the day. I played the the card game thing that it had too. The auto battler thing where you sent. It was kind of like fucking um, what was that Final Fantasy VII remake or uh, mini game that I liked a lot. RP. Means what? You want me to no, other one, where you sent characters and they'd walk down the paths. Or Condor. Yeah. There's, they, had, they had a game like Fort Condor back in the day. Super what? solid. All right. Clash Royale. Please that, that, join that was me it, yeah. welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer. Here we go, baby. Mr. Riozo Tujimoto. Fucking Riozo. Monster Hunter Wilds. 
はいサンキュージェーン、えー、今日はですね、えー、モンスターハンターワイルズの、えー、最新の映像を見てまいりました。えー、今回ですね、えー、のはですね、後半にですね、えー、完全新規で、えー、今回発お披露目の大型のモンスターも出てきてますのでそちらも注目していただきたいと思います。That's a lot to translate. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everyone. We've prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest. It's scripted, dude. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very special trailer. It has to be right, because that was a lot. Monster near the end of the trailer, as it's an important monster within the game. はいえー、本作では,で,ではですね、フェイブシティカンパニー・キャプコン。アクション、こちらの融合を目指して開発を進めております。えー、モンスターハンター・ワイルズは2025年にプレイステーション・ワイルズ。You wish they pumped out Dragon's Dog was faster than Dragon's Dog was faster than PC で同時発売となります。また、今回はですね、えー、プラットフォームの垣根を越えて一緒に遊ぶことができますので、そちらも楽しんでいただけたらと思っています。As you'll see, we're working to deliver a gaming experience that, immer- that merges over there, immersion and action. I hope players look forward to playing with their friends across different platforms when the game launches simultaneously in 2025 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Hi, eh, Saigo, in a rimasga, eh, Hachigatsu, in a Okonai, Games Con, no, opening night live. こちらの方でも新しい映像を持っていきますので、皆さん楽しみにしていただけたらと思っております。えー、またですね、えー、ゲームズコンではですね、えー、初のプレイアブルの、えー、できるような形で出展も考えておりますので、そちらもぜひ楽しみにしていただけたらと思っています。Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first public hands on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank you. I just wanted to hear her say like one word after he was done talking. Right. Oh, shit. Why did he not just put that? He's. Ah, over there! What? TZ said, can I, can, I, can I get in chat with you guys? But he sent it to me on Discord, which I don't have open. Why didn't he just jump in? I, I know he has, yeah, he has admin privileges. I don't know why. There's too many of them. Watch out for that glove. I will draw a tire. Chocobos? I don't think they're quite chocobos. Short skirts? If we can make it to the rocks, we may lose them. You love giant birds, you're already I in. I, I, I didn't see who the companion was. I didn't either. It's a little pet. So, I mean, this is like a story trailer, right? Like, this is like. Like, it's not co. This is not the co op, like, characters talking to each other. I assume it's probably, like, the handler for this game. Right, yeah, yeah. Dude, it looks fucking incredible. Does it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, it's probably, like. Tuned down for the for this right now, but yeah, it looks good. You see the hair mechanics, dude. I don't know what any of these monsters are, though. Stop talking about. Oh, this shit's about to get dark, probably. Just watch. You will see what hunting is all about. Bro, what the fuck was that at the end there? Short skirt. Looks fucking good. It's、It、gonna be really good. good. I'm excited、yeah. for this. Thank you, Riosa san. We will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from S Game wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the、It、brand new、canceled. trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. So, retry,、Here's、I made that comment about it being show, dark、Phantom、because Monster Hunter is right. You're right. Typically, not very dark. That kind of looked like it could have been right there for a hot second, but they might not. They probably won't go that route with it. This game does look sick, too. Gray? Red? What do you need? Don't you love the color palette RP? Yeah, it's gray. <laughs> Red. Don't. Don't go、yep. up there. Turn back. 
before it's too late. I know some color. It looks so fucking fun. Dude, look at this! This combat looks great. It does, it look, I agree, it looks better than the last trailer, yeah. Commander Cleave, I love that name. Get it, because he has a big cleaver. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is way more like Sekiro. <laughs> it's more like Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It's gonna be good. I'm calling it. All right. Well, I. Wait, we're gonna be in, in Tokyo during the Tokyo Game Show. I wonder how much tickets are. Can so you get good. tickets to that? Full demo that Media will be playing this we're weekend. So we'll hear much more about that, and that's gonna do it for our Summer Game Fest. We're gonna be in show. Japan during Thanks that. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank that's you, easy. Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more. So stay Wait, tuned. Wait, can you just go to this? Data Devs is coming up live right tickets, now on the right? stream featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy. 2300 that's yen? That's not bad. Developer Direct. Now keep checking summergamefest.com for other event streams this weekend. And we'll see you again Amen. live this August TV 20th in Germany Guaranteed. for Gamescom opening night live. 2300, Thanks for watching, that's everyone. It. Remember, Day of the Dev starts right now. Hold on. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little watch party we did here for the Summer Games Fest. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.